Hi, so what's up guys? How are you doing? Hope you're doing fine and I hope you're doing good and yes Koto and just want to share and talk to you about things that happened for the past few days and hopefully Asensya na ito ng aking bagong crib ang aking bagong bat cave so as all as as you can see bago na ang aking room so yan yung unang pagbabago and then this day where wala na yung mark eh. so we had our second job our second dose and uh, we are now fully vaccinated so for those who haven't uh, been vaccinated, I suggest go on. Kailangan natin to to be able to reach the herd immunity. Okay. So for the past few days, there are a lot of things that happened, and it's a roller coaster ride actually. Let's start first dun sa yeah, getting vaccinated our first dose. So. We had our first dose last June 23. Yeah. So it was June 23 and hindi ko na naman na vlog yun but uh, wala namang wala naman masyadong nangyari. Wala namang naging side effect sa akin yung vaccine rather than lumakas ako kumain. <laughs> so yun, lumakas ako kumain. <clears throat> Then, I don't know effect din yun, medyo karoon ako ng sakit sa likod. Hindi ko lang kung box pa saan ba yun or whatever or anything. So, yun. Yun ang nangyari. So, sensya na, medyo nice natin ang ating camera. Dahil ang lighting. Uy, bumaksak siya. Oh, fellow to the show must go. So, yun. Yeah. Nice ko lang yung lighting kasi madilim yata ako. And we don't want you to just see nothing. So, yeah, trying to find the right angle. Siguro ganyan. Yan! So, ganda, ganda. May illusion yung yung black na ano. so yun back to our topic just want to share what's happening my life in my life so yun magbabakuna and then after a few weeks yeah my dog passed away si Roddy so siguro yung iba alam na others might be wondering what happened I will tell you guys exactly what happened we had our uh, Thanksgiving dinner I forgot the date but I think it's it's June 27 it's June 27 ilang days after the vaccination and my and I can remember vividly. No, I could remember exactly. Na when we were having our dinner, it was just my, me and my group. So it's just a Thanksgiving dinner for our last online performance. Yung dog namin na si Rudy, kasi gab medyo gabi na yung dinner nga. <laughs> so. Lumapit siya sa akin and I was calling him and while he was walking towards me I saw na parang nahihirapan siya sa direction cannot see kung saan siya maglalakad saan siya pupunta so sabi ko there's something wrong with him so, ginawa ko, kinuha ko muna siya. 
and I brought him to the dog uh, cage dun sa kanyang social na sliding door na cage then morning comes Monday no it's is it Monday or Sunday but sa morning comes to confirm if my theory was right nilabas ko siya then I let him walk around and yun talagang nakita ko na napansin ko na na he's losing his eyesight already then we uh, we were still thinking if wala na ba talaga yung paningin niya or alam mo yun nag adjust lang but we did not uh brought him to a vet yet so yeah na, hindi naman talaga to be honest ha, I hope there's no hate here kasi kami hindi naman kami talaga nagdadala ng mga pets namin sa vet not unless kita namin na talagang urgent nung morning na yun, yun lang wala talaga siyang paningin at kumakain pa siya actually kumain siya no? then after that morning lunch na yon kumain siya then napansin ko na lang na nag vomit siya sinuka rin niya yung food na kinain yan din from there parang nawalan din siya ng pang amoy naman so, as in talagang hindi niya maamoy so what I did I gave him uh, milk may syringe nilalagay namin dito para kahit pa paano maging healthy siya and we were asking if we're going to bring him to the vet or not kasi hindi talaga kami yung talagang nagdadala ng mga pets sa vet not unless nga yun yun sabi ko it's worst case so days pass and parang he was okay na hindi okay kasi nga because he's not eating anymore so I have to really take care of him so ino-oral ko na yung pagkain niya nalagay na nalagay ako syringe tapos parang uh, Wednesday ba yun or Tuesday or Thursday I don't know I forgot the date forgot the day the night before he actually died I talked to him kasi he's been part of the family for 5 years already I hugged him told him Rudy kung nahihirapan ka na okay na okay lang sumuko ka na rather than seeing him suffer every day like okay lang yan okay lang yan andun yung andun yung lungkot at the same time nandun din yung pangihinayang at merong konting hope na sana maging okay siya syempre nasa back of at the back of my head meron din ako inisip na sumuko na lang siguro si Rudy para hindi na rin siya masaktan hindi siya mahirapan kasi seeing him na ganun eh, it's not the memory that I want to have kasi knowing Rudy he's, he's a very playful dog he loves the rain he loves the water actually pag, pag nabaha o naulan takbo siya ng takbo dyan so I hug him tight told him na it's okay if you cannot uh, if you cannot fight anymore it's okay tapos ang ginawa ko kasi that time tinali ko siya 
So yun siguro, if there's one thing I regret is that I should have not tied him. Meron naman siyang collar tapos may tinay in chain nilagay lang do sa nilak sa collar niya so ayun then the following morning I just saw him hanging kasi nga siguro dahil bulag na siya hindi niya na nakikita yung nangyayari ayun nabikti siya so yun yung cause of death niya and it, when I saw him dead Oo, oh, malungkot, masakit. Pero at the same time, may konting saya. Kasi alam mo na hindi mo na siya makikita na nahihirapan, na nasasaktan. Yun yung feeling eh. It's a mixed emotion. Kasi for, for the longest time we had our dogs, we saw every dog suffer. And I don't know for those who are Uh, fur parents or dog parents they consider them dog parents kasi kami ano kami we just di naman kami talaga yung fur parents just wanted to have a dog to guard us and also to release the tension pag meron ng tension sa ano yung pag bad trip ka kakatanggal talaga ng stress yung aso So yun, no, when I saw him dead, it's mixed emotion, malungkot na masaya. Then, yun, nilibing na namin siya. And I know na he will not feel the pain that he felt when he was still living. Nga lang, may sakit siya. Then, yun, hindi na rin namin nalaman anong cost nung parang pagkabulag niya. So... Yun yung nangyari kay Rudy. Tapos, days pass. Weeks pass. And then here, ito na, where, where we finish our second dose of uh, Pfizer. And hopefully, maging okay to. So, yun lang, mga kayangsters. I just want to share to you what happened for the past months. That I haven't vlog or haven't talked to you guys. <clears throat> so if there's uh, moral in the experience, siguro ano lang. Do not take things for granted. In lang. Tapos, if you have to do something, do it already, huwag ka na mag-antay and yun lang din siguro kasi hindi nga naman kami sorry for for those who are really pet lovers hindi naman kami kumagastos talaga when it comes to the pets yung dadalhin sa vet Yeah, we we bring our dogs to the vet if it's really life and death. At that moment kasi nakikita namin na kaya pa niya and then he was taking the the milk and the water with sugar. Say, alam niyo naman, it's expensive and hindi kami gan, ganun ka I mean we we have we have money naman pero hindi kami ganun gagastos talaga for that eh. I I'm not saying na masama yun or mabuti yun depends on you guys but for us we'd rather have spend the money if in case some emergency happened to us pero yun nga we thought na lalaban pa siya he was fighting actually and yun lang I just want to share to you guys what happened and mahaba na to so 
yun, I hope you're doing well and always keep safe, pray, exercise, and yun lang. So, mga kayangsters, until the next vlog, sorry if I keep you waiting and sorry if I just uploaded a video now. And hopefully, you're doing fine at this moment. So, I'm gonna see you soon. Ingat and God bless. Bye.